All right, let's keep it moving because, man, my voice is killing me right now, if y'all can't tell. <laughs> I think I voice cracked once or twice in, <laughs> in the last segment. <laughs> All right, so when we look at this weekend, another big matchup was the Chargers and the Packers. And the, pa- the Packers got dominated just like the Patriots did. We look at it. Chargers beat them 26 to 11 and you could argue that the Packers got beat worse than than the Chargers. Uh start sorry for the stuttering. Um and so we have to ask the question, did the Chargers game prove the Packers are not Super Bowl contenders? Um I don't really think so. Um they they had a bad game. Their offense was pretty that was pretty bad. Their offense was pretty damn bad. Um I was figuring once they got Devontae Adams back, Aaron Rodgers, just uh, another weapon. No, just be taken to the next level. Uh, guess not. Um, yeah, Chargers it, it doesn't necessarily work like that, you know, all the time. You get in a rhythm yep. with the receivers that you have, and you've had a receiver out for a little while. You start to get out of out of sorts with that receiver, and you got to work him back into the offense. And so it, it doesn't necessarily work like that, but go ahead. Yeah, um, I got to give it up to to Philip Rivers. He's making crucial throws and at crucial times. Um, the defense played well. Shutting Aaron Rodgers in that office down was crazy. Melvin think, Gordon found know, the end zone twice. You know? I, I was just about to say, I think Bosa and Melvin Ingram are crazy good. I mean, we forgot because of their record how good the Chargers are. I mean, we it, they lost two games by one play. One play in each game that just turned the tide. So I think the record skewed it a little bit. And so they put us on notice. Go ahead. No, yeah, that's, that's just, that, that echoes my point. Um, But I wouldn't put too much stock into them just this game. I mean, everyone's going to have a bad game. You see, the, the Pacers just did. Patriots defense, but I, I really still believe that the um, Packers are a contender. Uh, I believe in Aaron Rodgers. I believe in uh, their whole offense, to be honest. I really don't see no one in that division challenging them, except for the Vikings. The Vikings are kind of hot right now, but I'm not a believer in Kirk Cousins. So don't I still me. believe that they'll, they'll, they'll win their, um, their division, probably get the second seed behind the Saints, of course. Uh, and then, <laughs> and then, you yeah, I, I don't. <laughs> I just believe that they'll still be Super Bowl contenders. It's nothing much more for me to say. Uh, I do not, and we talked about it last oh. week. And I, it, yeah, I mean, we talked about it last week. I don't think that this Packers defense, even though they weren't the only issue this past Sunday, I definitely didn't think last week and this week. This week, sorry only confirmed my beliefs about this Packers defense that they're not necessarily championship-level contenders. And so you look at it, Phillip Rivers played pretty phenomenal. I mean, he didn't have any touchdowns, but he also didn't have any picks. 21 of 28, 294, 10.5 yards per attempt. That's pretty good. That's pushing it down the field. Um, And also, Melvin Gordon got going 20 carries, 80 yards, two touchdowns. And you also have to take into account that this Packers team probably should have done better when it comes to playing defense against them because the Chargers just replaced their offensive coordinator. They just had to fire him and upgrade within. And so you look at that, I mean, the Chargers had 442 total yards against this defense. And we talked about it last week. The Packers have been giving up yards. Uh, You look at the Cowboys, once they started to come back, they got going, they gave up over 400 passing yards to Dak Prescott. Uh, You also look at how they gave up yards against the Raiders before Aaron Rodgers just took off and took the soul out of the Raiders. And so you look at that, and also the Chiefs. The Chiefs exposed them with Matt Moore. Matt Moore had an incredible game, which we talked about last week. And so I definitely think that they're not quite up there with the upper echelon teams like the Saints and like the Patriots. Even though I think the Patriots got exposed a little bit, they'll still be one of the top teams in the AFC. 
Uh, and I definitely think that in the NFC, which is more competitive, I don't know if the Packers can get it done because you look at Aaron Rodgers, I mean, a 14 QBR, that was the worst below Mitch Trubisky, who we've been getting on the past weeks on this podcast. I mean, that's (laughs) terrible. And I think it shows that when you take away the running game, of the Packers, I mean, Aaron Jones, eight carries, 30 yards, only three yards per attempt. When you look at that and you look at Aaron Rodgers' stats, I think that Aaron Rodgers can't really pull weight like he used to. Like, if it, if this was the old Aaron Rodgers, a younger version of himself, I definitely think this would be a Super Bowl contender because even though the Packers' defense isn't quite up to par, it is above what he had in the past. And I think he was able to carry weight back then. Now, when you take away his running game, I think because of his age and his attrition, you look at it and you say, he can't pull the weight like that. I mean, 23 to 35 for 161 yards, only 4.6 yards per attempt. He was dinking and dunking when he was completing passes. So I, I just think that he can't pull the weight that he used to. And he's going to have to if they want to compete for a championship because Aaron Jones isn't going to go off every single game like he's been doing. And Devontae Adams is still recovering. And that defense isn't always going to get you stops. And so can Aaron Rodgers still pull it off like he did in the past? I I just don't know. We'll see. I think it is possible. I think he could, you know, elevate his play. It's not like it's impossible, but I definitely wouldn't bet on it if I'm a betting man. I wouldn't bet on it, and I definitely think that the Packers got exposed a little bit, just like we said the Patriots got exposed. I think the the Packers uh, got exposed, and just they the Chargers brought to light more of what I already thought that they were, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, it, it does. All right. So, is there anything else you got to say about it? I mean, because I'm pretty much done um, with it. Um, I really, now now that you bring up their point of their defense and how their defense really uh, can't count on them on them to make stops, uh, I, w- I'm, I would lean towards your way, but I'll have to see probably next week. If, if this happens again or if their def- or even if they win – and their defense plays bad, but they win because of Aaron Rodgers, then I'll have to lean to, to your side and say, no, they're not a, a Super Bowl contender. We'll have to yeah, see. yeah, because you, you see when you get older, and this goes for any sport, but all you know, it, it, it includes football. You look at people like Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers who are still top-tier quarterbacks, but they are older. You see them become less consistent. You see that – those flashes of old, they happen way less every single year. It becomes less and less that they're able to carry their weight. Tom Brady, you'll see him have a performance or two where you're like, man, he, he looks like, you know, he still got it. And the same thing with Aaron Rodgers. You say he still got it. But then you go to other weeks where they can't pull that weight. They can't do it consistently like they did before. And that just goes to their age. They're not going to be able to do that. And so if you're a teammate of Aaron Rodgers or a teammate of Tom Brady, you got to elevate your play every single week. You have to show up every single week and give your A game because you know that if we don't, we may lose this game because he can't carry us like he used to. And so I definitely think that they got to start improving as the weeks go on because, like I said, this is the Packers' defense is a repeat offender. They, they've they done this several weeks in the past that they've given up yards and given up points and before Aaron Rodgers was able to pull them out, but this week he wasn't able to. So it, it depends. We'll see. We'll definitely see. Uh, but if you like this video – Hit the like button and also click the subscribe button if you're new. And also hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload or a stream.